Welcome to the episode of Learn to Upgrade. What exactly is computer aided drug design? What are options of the career it has? We would be talking about CAD as a topic today and we would be touching base on is CAD a good career, right? When I say CAD, I am referring to computer aided drug design. So we have our special speaker, uh, Mr. Shishir Rohit, and I would uh, love to hear from him about himself. How did he end it up in the career? What he have done, and a uh, few words from him. Yeah. So first of all, thank you for giving me an opportunity to talk on this platform. So basically, I did my B form, and after my B form, I uh, gave up a gate examination. Then I qualified NIPER entrance exam, and then I took uh, admission in pharmacoinformatics division or the pharmacoinformatics department of NIPER Mohali. So it is actually a two years degree program. So after completing that degree, I I gave interview in Sinjin. So from where uh, I started my career. So in Sinjin, I worked almost around seven and a half years for, in the department of computer related drug design. So and after that, I moved on to Kashyap Biosciences. So in total, I have around 12 years of experience in computer related drug discovery. So basically, as I have seen, this field is emerging like anything. So as you see this artificial intelligence and machine learning, these techniques are applied in nearly all the domains and CAD is one of the domains. So that's it. Thank you. Thank you, Shishir, for the inputs. Uh, Shishir, I mean, there might be students on our platform who would be aware what computer added drug design is. And there would be some students who might not be aware exactly what it is. But if you could just brief on, you know, what exactly is computer aided drug design? Yes. So computer aided drug design is basically an integration of various subjects like mathematics, chemistry, biology, physics, and uh, some some like a background of historical drug discovery process integration of all these subjects with the computer so this is basically a computer aided drug design or in simple words you can say how these subjects or the topics could be easily understandable or how these uh, how we can implement the information technology knowledge with these subjects so this is how about cad is just the integration of information technology in various subjects to better understand the biology to better understand the chemistry to better understand the physics as you know that data is actually emerging like anything and yeah. there has to be some tool to understand or to analyze this data so here mm -hmm. comes the role of artificial intelligence and machine learning so Basically, it's very simple. Just integrating the information technology with biology and chemistry to better understand the processes. Shishu, if you could just elaborate on what exactly are the career options after uh, computer aided drug design uh, degree if a student has taken. What are the options of the career it has? Sure. So I would like to show this in terms of a presentation. So just sure. allow me to share that presentation. Definitely. Please go ahead. So basically computer aided drug design, I, I would start from the beginning, right? just a brief introduction. So basically sure. uh, computer aided drug design, biology and chemistry are the pillars. So separately they are called bioinformatics and chemoinformatics. And this computer aided drug design require both this knowledge of both these domain like chemistry biology so either if you are a computational biologist or if you are a computational chemist there are multiple options for you to make your career with like you can go with the chemical industries paint industries to build some kind of models and predict whether this whether these two chemicals would be compatible or not mm -hmm. so here is the role in chemi chemistry or the chemicals the next uh, option is drug discovery, as you are aware, like computer aided drug design. So I would not go in much detail in this topic. So the sure. other option is biotechnology. So just apply the knowledge of computational chemistry or biology in the field of biotechnology. Since, as I said, the data is enormous. You yeah. need to you, you need to understand the data. You need to analyze the data. You need to drive some conclusion out of that. So that you can do yeah. with the help of uh, computational biology or computational chemistry 
another option is to design a kind of pesticides so agro would also be a better option for a computational chemist or a biologist again one more option is like flavor industry synthetic flavoring agents are coming just to identify the basic or the good flavoring agents with the help of computational tools and uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning other option is academics you can after your master flavoring you mean the food flavoring or yes food flavoring uh, or any kind of flavor or any kind of flavor okay so another option is go to academics if you if you pursue if you want to pursue a higher education after your masters like phd or post doc then it would be a good entry point in the academics other option is you can go in the fragrance industries like perfumery synthetic okay. perfumes okay so these are some of the options but again these these are not the limited options a computational okay. chemist or a computational biologist can either go it computer aided drug design or computer aided molecular design that is in general computer aided molecular design but if you want to but if you talk about drugs then it would be computer aided drug design but in general it is called as computer aided molecular design and nowadays okay. it, uh, some options are also there in the field of petrochemicals to okay. identify the chemicals or the hazardous chemicals using the various uh, computational techniques like qsar quantitative structure activity relationships so these are the some of the options of cad or the computer aided molecular design cmd okay and uh, out of these career options what do you think is uh, you know uh, how do you rate these career option in the sense of from the scale how big this would become for a person in a career right and what is like a starting package in an average uh, if he is uh, working in india or, or overseas uh, whatever uh, so, examples we have yeah so i will consider i, I can rate all the options like 7 out of 10 Okay. because there is an equal opportunity okay okay in india in india there are very less computational chemist or computational biologist or computer aided molecular design and this okay. field is actually emerging so okay. nowadays nowadays i see lots of the posts on nokri.com linkedin needs a computational chemist needs a computational biologist needs a data analyst who can analyze the chemical data who can analyze the biological data so for me all these are equal but it basically depends on the interest of someone in which area he would like to pursue his career so okay. uh, yeah so suppose someone has done masters then he can also go for a phd in abroad there are multiple options you can you can see like you can search for the phd in findaphd.com and there is one site called ccl.net which is basically dedicated to computational work okay what was the site you mentioned just earlier than this uh, ccl.net no, before that before that find a phd or oh, find a phd okay yeah okay. so you can if someone is interested to pursue phd then he can search in these sites okay. and these are these are just one or two sites which i remember uh, but okay. there could be multiple sites yeah okay. but ccl.net is dedicated to computational chemistry or biology kind of thing okay that's good and uh, what do you think would be the starting packages for these guys i mean that is the most interesting for freshers right to know <laughs> so so if you are a masters then i think 4 or 4.5 would be a starting package and okay. if you are a phd yeah 4 4 or 4.5 lakh per annum okay. and suppose if you are a phd then you can get minimum 6 and maximum maybe more than 10 i would say okay so it, okay. it it also depends from where someone did his phd his or her oh, phd yeah, definitely depend on one institute as well yeah so uh, if you want to share some learning pro tips for the students right before they end up to the interviews uh, and stuff Uh, yeah. Before, okay. I, I'll pause my question. Do we have anything else on the slide? Sorry, I didn't ask that. Yeah, I have. I have some of the resources from where if someone wants to learn, he can go through this kind of. Uh, I think that is extension of what I'm going to ask. So, what would be your inputs to the students who are currently doing CAD or who are planning to do CAD? What would be? Yeah. Uh, so, what would be a first one thing which you will tell your yourself? when you were like uh, starting your career right and you now realize oh, shit if i would have done that it would have been much better or i would have taken so, five steps 
prior so uh, when i started my career there was limited uh, material available yes. for this field but today i would say that you can find every fourth or fifth article out of 10 related to cad if mm-hmm. someone is writing a paper then there there must be a cad portion okay so so if you if you search on the google you can find the enormous data on computer aided drug design so many freely available tools are if someone wants to learn so yeah. software these are divided into two categories either they are paid or they are freely available so for okay. paid it's very difficult to pay the amount because they are highly they are co- highly cost costly okay so if someone wants to start then they can start from the free wares so this is the article like free and open source softwares for computational chemistry education so link okay. is provided there if someone wants to go through this article then they can go through this and apart from this there are multiple articles they can also go in the reference section and see the articles okay and there is one more there is one more site called click to drug so okay. in this site if someone wants to learn or someone wants to understand what are the tools available for a particular uh, like particular exercise if you want to do docking so these docking qsar like in lag and base drug design and structure based drug design these are the part of computational computer aided drug design if someone wants to learn more or they want to gain more knowledge about the software then they can uh, view this site called click to drug okay there they can find almost all the softwares which are in the market whether it would be a freely available software or a paid software so it's a very good site okay so what you are suggesting is the students should start learning from the open sources as it is open source available for everyone so yeah. that they get, get get an edge over other students true and yeah and, and basically and basically the basics would be same okay basics would be same if you start from uh, the free software and you move on to the paid softwares then the basic would be same if suppose if someone wants to uh, filter out the molecule the strategy would be same first okay. you do this then this then this and followed by this and eventually with the so, uh, more as you are the basic steps are same basic could, steps are same uh, you know uh, depending on the ui ux or computational of the paid software much much better than the free one or something like that but exactly. basics are basic okay. are same okay. and there is just a algorithm difference and nothing else okay Okay and more over more over more over I would like to highlight one thing for mm-hmm. uh, most of the paid software there is a GU, GUI okay that is graphical user interface yes it it would make your life easy that is why they are paid and they used to upgrade their software okay every twice a year or thrice a year but okay. these freely available tools mostly they are based on the command line ah okay so so, so you have to break your head okay that is a problem but if but uh, i can say that there are few softwares which uh, provide gui so if someone wants to learn then they can access these softwares yeah so shishi help me understand one thing i mean i i'm not you must be hiring some freshers and stuff and freshers and other people right so are these also now part of the curriculum have you seen people actually going and studying these and then appearing for the interview or uh these are things which students uh i mean aren't they don't, don't do it as part of their curriculum or as an additional thing i mean what is your view you must have yeah. uh, so basically uh, basically it's a part of curriculum when you when you uh, when you see the curriculum of b form 8th semester uh uh-huh. there is one topic called computer aided drug design okay and that is very basic and uh, and at that particular time i realized that the faculty or the student they just ignore this topic when okay. they when they come in their masters and suddenly when they see oh this topic oh it's very tough okay because they have they haven't studied or they haven't paid attention or right. they would just uh, bypass that particular topic yeah okay but this is a part of curriculum in the b form 8th semester as i remember it was there for me okay and even in masters if you say like if if you if someone is pursuing biotechnology biotechnology yes. there would be some sort of uh, bioinformatics kind of work okay and, and student generally ignore this but they should actually not ignore because this is really helpful 
if okay. someone wants to build their career in this field and you prefer students if they come uh, well aware with the softwares and the technologies used in rug design i mean do they get an edge in the interviews yeah as a yeah. candidate they get yeah okay so one uh, thank you shishir till now uh, do you have any other slide to cover or uh, I can i move to the other question mm, yeah i have one slide sure so this is uh, basically an overview of computer aided drug design yeah so let me ask this question because we would be editing this yeah so uh, shishir can you explain or elaborate more on computer aided drug design if you have something please uh, elaborate on the same yeah so computer aided drug design as i said it's an integration of information technology or it's an integration of computational technology with the basic biology and chemistry that yeah so there are actually two arms for computer aided drug design one is structure based drug design and the other is ligand based drug design so what do i mean by structure based drug design is suppose i have the structure in one case i have the structure okay that is the protein structure or the receptor structure mm -hmm. then i would actually and there are uh, drugs available there are databases available chemical space is very vast 10 to the power 60 chemicals so what i can do i can virtually screen this compound in the particular protein structure or the particular drug target i can screen and i can filter these molecules okay that is the one case of structure based in another case suppose i don't have the receptor structure in that case i would i would design the structure using the homology modeling technique so this is here it's called as homology modeling okay. and this is the protein suppose i don't have this kind of uh, receptor or this kind of uh, protein structure 3d 3d structure of the protein then what i would do i would model the structure mm -hmm. and then i can screen the compounds okay and in another case is fragment based drug design suppose i have one fragment and i know where that particular fragment in binding in the structure of the protein like like this is the protein structure and this is the pocket mm -hmm. this is the ligand or the frag or the molecule yeah. then based on the pocket size and pocket volume i can grow this particular molecule mm -hmm. and i can again do a kind of lead optimization and hit optimization and convert that particular molecule in the drug so this was about the structure based okay now in another case one there is a ligand based drug design suppose we don't know uh, to what particular target our molecule is binding or to what particular target our drug is binding in that but we have the molecule or we have the drug mm -hmm. so in that case the strategy would be and if you want to uh, design or you want to identify the new compound or the novel compound so the strategy would be to do a ligand based virtual screening okay or to do a pharmacophore mapping okay pharmacophore is nothing just an ensemble of essential sets of features which are responsible for the therapeutic activity so based on that features i would build a pharmacophore and then i can screen that database i'll get the heads then i will modify the heads to lead then i will again optimize the lead then i would do the in vitro testing and finally the drug candidate finally we can do the clinical kind of trials okay thank you for this slide and a detailed you know uh, so uh, so this was so this was very basic if you want to understand in depth yes you can contact me <laughs> for sure so i think we'll give that opportunity to students if they would yeah like yeah yeah want. yeah they are free to contact yeah yes uh and shishir this is uh this is the last question of, of this talk show and this is a kind of a fun fact if you wouldn't have been uh, in the career of computer aided drug design what you have been uh, other than that data scientist oh is it okay that's good so i mean you have done anything in the data science i know it marries well right computer aided drug design yeah because data. because the thing is that uh, i already know Uh, what is ai ml and the basic uh, basics of statistics and some kind of coding programming 
i know this so i i think i would fit more in that role if i would not have been a computer aided drug design scientist yeah. okay so okay. So, okay. so again so just uh, one more thing i would like to tell or i would like to highlight hmm. so for uh, learning computer aided drug design one has to one should also pay attention in the programming okay coding programming and algorithm development okay so nearly means all the options are open for for him he can also become a data scientist okay in and, this particular field yeah in this particular field because because as i see data is emerging data yes. is generated in every femto second that Correct. is 10 to the power minus 15 second so this mm-hmm. much enormous data we have but there is but there are limited tools or the limited manpower to analyze this data so again mm-hmm. data scientist would also be a one of the good career thank you and and they, that... and they don't have to do anything uh, they don't have to learn anything extra if they know one thing like okay. programming and statistics basic basic statistics so okay. data scientist yeah okay thank you thanks a lot and you yeah. share any closing note you want to give before uh, you know we close the session to the students mm, yeah so that is what i said if someone is really interested in computer aided drug design field they should also yeah. pay attention in programming perfect this is at most important let's say for suppose uh, someone started his or her career in drug design mm-hmm. let's say for 2 to 3 years he survived but after a certain period of time some sort of skills are needed whether he needs to, whether he need to write his or her own codes Mm-hmm. so i would say if someone is interested in drug designing he would also pay attention on programming and uh, before we go uh, guys if you like this talk show if you want to ask any question to mr shishir please put your questions in the comments we'll do each or two mr shishir and he will respond to it and if you really like our talk show and are watching for the next one uh, please subscribe to our channel and put a like thank you very much Thanks Mr Shishir thanks for Thank you. Thank you for giving me an opportunity to talk yeah thank you thank you